Hi, this is Brandy Murray with ScrapGirls.com and today for tutorial number three we're going to learn about changing the colors of existing products that we have. Um, a lot of this is a basic technique for some of you but a lot of us are learning and we're just starting out in digital scrapbooking so I thought this would be a, a great tutorial to show you today. So what we're going to do here with this paper and I've chosen these from the Molly Milkshakes collection and also again just so you know any of the materials used in tutorial in this tutorial today can be found in today's newsletter. You're going to click on this adjustment layer at the box at the bottom of your layers palette. It's like a little half moon black and white and we're going to choose hue and saturation. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Um, you can just change the hue by sliding it as you can see here. You can click the colorize button which gives it a little more of a muted tone. But as you um, notice even the black areas of this particular paper are turning a little bit green which is fine but if you want to only affect say the pink area of the paper then um, you can simply I'm gonna turn this one off and add another one hue saturation choose the reds which the pinks are in the red family and when you change the hue saturation now you'll notice that only the pink parts of the paper change leaving this black which is what I would like so once you've got a color that you like and you're working with more than one paper and you want to kind of colorize them the same an easy way to do that is just select this layer hold down your shift key and drag it to your other coordinating papers and now you see you've got a nice coordinating set that is completely different from the original. You can do this with uh, embellishments as well. I'll simply duplicate this layer of uh, the adjustment layer. I'm going to move it on top of my ribbon and right click and choose create clipping mask which will then just attach the hue saturation to the ribbon only so if I turn this off you'll still see that it's the same color and at any time you can go in here and change these um, for a different look so that's basically how to change your existing products I hope you've enjoyed our today's tutorial and maybe learned something new and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow have a good day